Welcome to Job Reinvented Show. Level up your career with confidence. I'm your host, Panta Kalho. Episode 7, Health is a Mindset with Martha King Health Coach. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and get notification for new interviews and pre-order my book, Naturally Conceived, through Amazon. Get pregnant by unleashing your reproduction power. Today, I'm so honored to have a very special guest, Martha King. She is uh, integrated. Uh, she is an integrated health coach and uh, f- founder of Five Pillar Self Coaching. I'm so happy to have you and so excited. Uh, welcome to our show. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here today. Thanks. So, Martha, what are you doing right now and how did you get here? Oh, gosh. Um, I think pretty much all my life, um, I always wanted to uh, just be part of the the, the journey of someone's health. You know, just getting people um, become their entrepreneurs of their, their own health through the process of guiding them through the, you know, through the getting well. So that's always been my passion, just seeing people thrive in health and um, sharing the gifts about how to find ways to, um, to be well. Great. Do you have some story to tell us? How did you end up to be an entrepreneur? When did you start? Well, I know many people out there that knows me. Um, when I set my mind on something, when something just comes in my, my radar about an idea, um, I take it to the very end. Um, I've been told that I don't let grass grow under my feet, that I'm, mo- I'm always moving. So the idea of having w- what I have now with, with my private practice, health coaching, um, you know, Five Pillars, it was health, Five Pillars Health Coaching, um, the, the coaching part has been, it's been for years. Um, I started a, a nonprofit that I ran for 10 years. And that was a lot of pretty much the, the, um, the step in stone for me to form and get more shaped about the program of, of coaching people. And um, so when I talk about an idea, um, you had to create a vision. And I, I see myself, um, I saw myself and I still do, and I em- em- envision future things for this. Um, you know, how far do you want to take this? And what does it look like? What does it smell like? You know, what kind of energy does it, does it feel like this, this, this is has? And, um, you know, it's, it's not an overnight thing. It's just something that you you create. And if you want it that bad, you you, you don't stop. Um, I know there is a lot of times, you know, there's a lot of bumps on the road where you begin in something in life. And um, when you keep that positiveness of that, you're going to do something with it. So for me, having that, that gift of having help, helping people through the years, that's always been my drive. And I, I know as a health coach in my having my private practice now has been a driver for, for that, for that to happen. Great. So uh, you actually refer to some points for entrepreneurs, how to be successful in the entrepreneurship. Can you go to more details or give us um, three points that uh, entrepreneurship, uh, entrepreneur, Shape can be easier for people who are gonna uh, pursuing to be an entrepreneur. Well, uh, like I said, you know, you you come up with an idea, and, and to make it become live and just fuel some energy to it, um, you have to create a vision. Mm-hmm. You, you have to, and you have to share this vision. So it it it, get, it sort of fuels um, keeping something just with you it's not ideal because when you share something 
you you are part of this network of people that want to support you so the second thing will be of course a business business plan and that that's a different shapes and forms and different logistics with that but the second part of that second is um trust yourself and don't allow individuals to come into your space that are not going to be part of the movement for you in a positive way. So having people that are very open-minded, that are that they think from center approach ways of saying or thinking, and um, because that that creates a very negative energy, and when that happens, it's it weighs on you. And um, staying positive, be organized. Um, determined what your worth is and sit with that and don't don't let anyone just say that's not going to happen exactly i love it i mean because when you have big dreams when you want to do something from your own it doesn't uh, it doesn't stay in some other minds some mm -hmm. people even don't believe that entrepreneurship is a path because they always used to just get the pay sleep and have a comfortable payment, you know. They don't want to be involved in uh, having involved in earning money by themselves. It's it's a bit difficult to change this mindset from mm -hmm. being an employee to entrepreneurship path. Yes. Yeah, you brought a, a point there about um, the, the mindset, you know, they, they always look at the, you know, we always ask yourself, what zone are you in? Are you in the fear zone? Are you in the learning zone? Or are you in the growth zone? And um, we, we've been on all three. And uh, when I look at the fear, you either don't trust the process, you don't trust yourself, um, you don't, your emotions and your feelings are just getting in the way moving forward. So the learning mode would be, the learning zone would be, what, what did you learn through the process from before? You know, what lessons are you now taking from maybe challenge that came up, you know, maybe a bump in the road, while you were moving forward to create that path that you're looking for. And then of course the grow zone is just lessons, all the things that you've taken from the past two zones and, and making those changes from those lessons learned. I love it. Yeah, and then when you talk about trusting yourself through that process, um, which I can understand when people have the fear and, and allow that to take over for them to make decisions. So I left, I, I had a corporate job and it took me a year to prepare for me to make the last, the last choice said, this is, this is it. And um, you get comfortable with making money. Uh, you can get comfortable just doing the same thing and, and get up and going to work in the same routine. But you ask yourself, is this job actually loving me back? Just exactly with food. When I ask the client, ask yourself, is the foods that you're eating loving you back? Are you benefiting from that? Are you happy with the choices, with the flavors that you that you you know bring into your body? And so, um, it's not an easy thing. But when you when you create this vision, and you stay focused on that, it just gives you the drive uh, for you to um, the fuel for you to just keep moving. I love uh, you. The point you said, you're right. You have to pass those. Mm -hmm. Uh, zones mm -hmm. first you are afraid to start but as soon as you start then you start learning mm -hmm. from your failures and if at that point you give up you just stop there mm -hmm. and you go back to the loop going back to your previous job or other things and then you never grow but if you pass 
the learning zone, then that's the point that you can grow and start your mm -hmm. own business with all ups yep. and downs. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. So what are the biggest mistakes entrepreneurs do when they're going to start their own business? I think when they begin to lose thought of the vision, when you're creating something and you feel passionate about it, mm -hmm. and you begin to lose that flame, that, that burning sensation in your belly, that this is what I want to do, you're going to have to sit back and ask yourself, what is it that is causing this? What, could, could you be, be exhausted, maybe physical, mental, spiritual? So it's beginning to do the inventory with yourself first um, when you begin to feel depleted. And that's so, so important, self-care, um, to be able to. So that's one of the things that, you know, people forget, uh, forget that. Um, I mean, being as a health coach and, 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 and many of the things that I did in the past, it requires a lot of energy uh, when you deal with people's emotions and people's lives. And when, at the end of the day, you got to refuel that tank. And if you don't, um, you're going to be very depleted. You're going to be emptied. And how can you bring the, what you supposed to bring to the individual, you know, some um, the energy and all that, if you don't have that to give, you know, to, to share with them or to coach through with them. So you have to have that, like, you know, walk the talk. Um, the second thing would be, um, and I said it earlier, when you allow people that are not resonated with your vision or what you want to do in life, then you ask yourself, are these people supporting my, my vision? And if they're not, then you need to clean the plate a while. You need to do some, some housekeeping in order to do that. Um, a third one, um, you got to be organized. So I'm not talking just being organized, you know, on the desk um, or the house, but it's about yourself being organized within yourself. And if your things, if things are cluttered around you, it affects the same way how if you have a lot of clutter in your mind and you don't have, you, you not have a very um, clear picture of what you want to do, it can make an impact with decisions, with choices that you want to make and, and shape this vision of yours that you want to do in life. I like this, this decluttering thing. Because mm -hmm. uh, I remember... Uh, when I was uh, teaching in high school, the first thing I used to tell my students was, please declutter your room. Mm -hmm. And they always laugh at me. They said, uh -huh. does math, mathematics related to decluttering? I said, yes, it is. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> because uh, really, your mind and your brain is, will see what is there. If it's yes. messy and it's so full of rubbish and junk, junk yeah. So it's, you, you can't think properly, but you just go to a very tidy room and very clean, everything organized. Yes. Your, your brain receives the same message uh -huh. and you feel much yeah. better, much confident mm -hmm. to do the job. Yes. I so like true. That. Yes, so true. Yeah, I'm just speaking from, from my own experience and how it makes, makes me feel. So, yeah, when things are, are done. To clutter. whom you don't suggest taking the entrepreneurship path? Um, once again, if, if you are having second thoughts um, about what you want to do or maybe maybe you might have might have decided this is the path i want to do whatever it is but then you get there and you just still not not happy with it. you still not feel confident you still not um feel like it's it's 
just not aligned to what you're looking for or it's not aligned to you know within your yourself um then you're gonna have to you know take a back seat and 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 if this is not what you need to do or or it's speaking it's not speaking to you then you don't want to force something that later on in yourself you're not going to be happy because the energy that is going to be within inside within you is pretty much the same thing you're going to radiate on the outside and um so you're going to be sure that um that if this is not what you've taken uh, this type of path, maybe it will be too much, too much for you. Maybe it will be too much demanding for you. So, getting to know yourself first. Exactly. Um, your passion, yourself. Is that mm-hmm. exactly what you want, or it's just uh, something that you're gonna try? Right. So, for something that you're gonna try, you shouldn't invest too much money and quit mm-hmm. your job. Exactly, exactly. And another thing I was going to add there, um, that people, I, I want to say fear, and, and allowing that to, um, to take over you, knowing that each of us have strengths and values. Mm-hmm. And when those are... Um, what's the word I want to say, you know, shattered or, um, you know, numbed by, by an emotion, maybe a traumatic um, feeling or, you know, or experience. And so um, you don't want to take on something like this, you know, a, a vision that you, you think is this where you want to go or move forward um, until you, you evaluate yourself. I, I, that's will be my, my, my my first one in the top one in the wall is just you got to get you know yourself first just because someone say oh my gosh you're great at doing this oh my god you should go for this and just because others are telling you you know just take your time to inventory yourself and and find out yourself there's people that walk around i mean i get clients that come to me they're lost they lost themselves in life and um when that happens nothing will grow and and so nothing's going to be um feel good or 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 taste good or smell good so what is your program um, in your life coaching i've heard the 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 name of your uh, coaching is five pillars health coaching why did you choose this title Okay, that's an amazing, I love that question that I get asked a lot. Um, as a health coach, um, when, we look at, when we look at our health every day, okay, to me, the five pillars, which is nutrition, sleep, movement, connection, and stress, they're all interconnected. What was the fourth one again? Um, nutrition, sleep, movement, stress, and connection. Oh, connection. Oh. Yeah, it's five of them. Why? So um, every time when I talk to someone, when I do a discovery session, which is, you know, I, I don't charge for my first session. It's just like a discovery. They're discovering themselves. They are um, Pretty much, so they're discovering themselves. They they find things that they never knew about themselves. That they, they find it themselves, <laughs> and through you know through speaking to me. And but I said earlier, if you someone comes to me, I am not a dietitian and I am I am not a nutritionist. But how we talk about food is pretty much the conversation of the client through question. And one of the questions I ask are the foods that you eat allowing you back? And that's always an aha moment because they, they're, people come in, they have red type of diets, they, they follow this, they follow that. And when they come to me, they say, well, I wanna lose 10 pounds. And when we begin to, to talk and, and start begin to peel the onion and be, take those layers off until we get to the root cause and to the bottom of that last, last, you know, peel. Um, there's more to that. There's not just 
just because they're coming in because they're the pre-diabetic, because maybe the doctor got concerned and maybe they need to see a coach. Um, so, okay, so that's the sleep part. I mean, that's the, you know, the nutrition part. So when you're not sleeping, that's one of my, my pillars that I talk a lot and, and um, people have taken sleep for granted. And um, because when you don't sleep, you don't detox yourself. Everyone knows when you wake up with only four hours of sleep, you think, well, I'm used to it, you know. I don't allow you, you're thinking, you know, there is going to be a, you know, brain fog. You're going to be miserable. You're going to have to wake up with coffee after coffee through the day until you finally wake up about two in the afternoon. Um, people also gain weight from not sleeping. Um, the stress the stress that you have at work, that you have at home. So now you didn't sleep. You're not, you know, you're loading with, carbo, you know, with high carbs, with um, refined foods, with sugar. Okay, so now we got all that going. And now we got, are we moving? Well, I'm, I'm too, too tired from not sleeping. I'm too stressed to, to exercise. And I mean the wrong thing to cover my sleep so I can stay awake. So, and then the connection. So when I talk about connection, Back again, when you lost, when you lose yourself through this, when you don't trust yourself, when you don't have any any uh, um, motivation to want to do something, when that's not within yourself to make those changes, it's not going to happen. So um, when I talk about connection, I get clients already that they lost themselves, but also they lost. They don't feel loved. They they're very empty. They're um, they just don't have a purpose in life anymore. So if you don't have that, there's no way you're gonna try to, you know, in, improve your your eating habits. Um, you wanna move or you wanna you know what you stress. Um, so they they're all interconnected, and that's why when you look at those five, they they operate in in so many different ways but they're all interconnected. They all just, they need each other. They, they got to balance one another. And so to me, the, there's, there are the main five pillars. It's like a, it's a new kind of wellness that, you know, when I approach people, we, we talk about those things that no one has talked to them before about. I love it. And um, actually I know because uh, one of my managers uh, many, many years ago, um, he tried a diet and mm -hmm. he lost lots of weight. But a few years later, when I saw him, he had the same thing. But uh, these days I see him again, he get back to his uh, feet normal and looks good. But what I just realized, if you have those three girls um, again, mm -hmm. get back to your life, you may gain weight again, unless you um have a very strong mind and you decide that you you're not going to get back to those triggers and you're gonna actually follow that healthy habits not just as a diet because diet it's very short term mm -hmm. process mm -hmm. but uh, you may have uh, you may choose it as a lifestyle mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah um to add to that um when I get a client, um, when we have the discovery session, there's a lot we cover for within the hour, just so to get to know each other. And I always say, when someone's calling me, someone's coming to me, they have, a, they have something in their mind. They have a goal in mind. No matter what, they have something to talk about. And so we always pretty much we begin to lay out this blueprint of wellness and lay out what are the goals are so we pick three of them you know i don't they do and then begin to see them as to break the goal it's not just well i'm gonna i'm gonna lose a pound and i'm just gonna go to the gym okay that's more of um i be uh, this a look of um they're just saying that they're not given the specifics 
or how you're going to break the goal in, in, in part. So we, you know, I used what well, we used the SMART approach, you know, you got to be specific, you know, how are you going to measure that um, action base? Um, how realistic is this? And, you know, time bound, you know, the, the time frame goals. that you can. Yeah. 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 So, uh, so that, that individual pretty much by saying that statement, that's just uh, an outcome goal. That's what they want. But we want to convert that to a behavioral goal where that's where health coaching comes in, you know, where uh, it's about behavioral change um, mm -hmm. with, you know, with people. But um, I just wanted to bring that about. But we do a lot of other exercise through the process. Um, when, when clients are come, you know, come to me, th there's a lot that they scare for themselves. You know, we do a lot of strength, strength values, tests, exercise that we do they discover themselves but through the process you know my program is six months and we meet twice twice a month and it's virtual you know through zoom um it's a platform that um we have it's private and um it's, it's a lot that happened i mean every client is different and um there's a lot of things that we do the first three or four sessions just sort of get to know each other it's more like a prepping to be able to start the race to be able to start that process to get to the finish line mm. <laughs> yeah yeah so i love your points and love uh, what you're doing with your clients and health coaching I wish you a lot of success. Oh, before we go, before we go, I remember you have a summit, right? A virtual summit in September. Yes. But, yeah. Can you uh, just briefly talk about that? Sure, I'd love to. I'd love to. Um, but before I do that, um, we, we've been doing for maybe three months. Every Tuesday, we started um, Tuesday Talks, where we bring professionals, entrepreneurs, uh, practitioners from everywhere and um we give them 20 minutes it's about 20 30 minutes the session and we call them the her that's the health empowerment reset series and they, they talk about a topic and it's all about with health and wellness and um they get a chance to to expose themselves to talk about their business um, you know, what they do and services, but they also bring a topic to the floor, you know, to, to the table. And so because of that, and because of everything happening with, right now in the world, um, we've decided this year to do um, a virtual, an online summit. Yes. And that's on, on a pain, approach to pain and well-being. But there's three types of pains that people don't always think about, all three. You got the physical pain, the spiritual pain, pain and this emotional pain. And so that's what this is, summit is about. It's going to be four days, uh, beginning for, uh, September 14th, Monday through Thursday to um, September 17th, uh, morning and afternoon. So we have a um, morning from nine, from 9 to 11, Eastern Standard Time, and then in the afternoon from from three from one to three um so we have pretty much we have um four speakers a day we have 16 speakers through the whole week so we're very very excited and um so yeah and it's free so um some of the speakers that we had before are coming back and we have some amazing ones and um and i know for is one of them and we're excited to have you <laughs> you know participating as well so we're yes, yeah, yeah 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 all right, Martha, thank you so much for our interview. I really enjoyed thank it. You. And hopefully my audience also have the same feeling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, I, I want to thank you so much. And, um, you know, I have a website that's um, um, www.5pillarshealthcoaching.com. And you can reach me in there. Um, my email and everything is there. And uh, look forward to hear from you. Yeah, Thank you. great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.